Hello friends. So let us find an inverse of a matrix of order three or in a three dimension. Suppose that you have a matrix like said is this is the one is zero six two one negative one three negative one and zero. So you need an inverse step one. You have to find the determinant. Determinant that is determinant A. So if determinant is not zero, it means inverse exists. Exist. So let us start. Determinant A. We have uh, to make a one, then close one, even close close this one remaining. Y negative one, negative one is zero, meaning one, negative one, so also negative one and zero. So here, this is a negative zero. So also, you have to close row and the column where the, the an entry is located, you close zero and like this one remain by two three two three and the negative one is zero okay then here you add we are on six Okay. So also you close row and the column where the number is located. So you remain by one negative one negative one is zero. Negative one is zero. Okay. So then, you take one, this time is this, it's a zero, minus, this time is this one is one. So that is zero, immediately, get a zero, then, plus three, okay, here you get, uh, it's a zero, but there is a six aside. This and this one is a zero, so minus then one. Okay. Uh, here we get negative one, so plus zero. Then here you see that we have uh, that is a negative one. You get negative six. So then after after that you get negative seven. So determinant of matrix A is equal to negative seven. Okay. So then next step two, you find the minor matrix minor matrix okay so minor matrix you find the determinant for each entry 
minor of 1 find minor of of 2 so also you find the minor of 3 okay also here you can find also minus 0 find the minor of 1 minor of negative 1 okay so uh, after this, you can find a minor of negative 6 is a 6 minor of negative 1 minor of 0 so, you can start now minor 1 so you will close where the number is you close row and the column remain of this one this one this one remain the one negative one the negative one and the zero okay so about minor of two you close here here row and the column put this one you remain by zero six zero six negative one is zero so zero sixty negative one and zero you see come up here minus over three you close here and here so 0, 1, negative 6, and 1. 0, 6. 0, 6, 0, 6. Okay. 1 and negative 1. Okay. Here you get. This one, this one is a 0. Minus this one. This is minus. Minus 1. This is a 0. So is equal plus six. This one is a zero minus this one. So minus six. Okay, about is zero. You close the zero here and here. Take this. Okay. So sometime also you can use some papers so that you can you can't make an error you can make some can use some papers let's use some papers okay so that you can't make some errors okay okay oh this one that is too large just use small one yes you can use the papers you close a zero and then even you close that is the row and the column then you read the remaining that is for minus zero you get a two then here is a three negative one and zero okay about the minor minor one Low and the coral. You see, remain the one, then a three, here six, zero. Okay, see, you go here for negative one is here, make this close. Remain by one. Two here is a sixty, here is a negative one. 
to say then determinant this time is this one is in a, this is a zero minus three times negative one you get a positive positive three this one is a zero minus get to minus 18 negative one negative one minus minus 12 you will get minus 13 okay so here about the six you will be close six above then by law and the column remain remain uh, two and three then you get one and negative one you see about it negative one we close negative one then here Remain one, one is zero, then a three, negative one. You see? And also zero here, law and the column. Remain by one is zero, then two and two and one. Okay. So then this is this one, you get a negative two. Negative two minus three, you get a negative five. Okay. So this one. You get negative one minus zero. We mean it by this. Okay. This one to this one. You will get remember this is the one. Eh? So you get the one minus zero. We mean by one. So so you have this. Okay. So now we can make cofactor matrix. So step forty three make a matrix. A matrix of cofactor from my inner matrix so you multiply by this one by some sign positive minus positive minus positive minus positive minus positive okay cofactor you will take positive times this one you will get negative one okay this one negative times six you will get negative six so negative six times positive you will get negative six okay we are here negative one times three you get negative this is the negative negative times this one you get negative three Okay, this is a positive times here, you will get negative uh, uh, negative 18. So, negative times this one, you get the positive 13, okay? So, positive times negative 5, you get the negative 5. This times here, you get 1. Positive to this one, you get also 1. Okay, this is a cofactor matrix. Then after that, you find the adjacent. So 
step step four a joint matrix which is equal to cofactor transpose the cofactor transpose it means row become column adjoint will be equal to negative one negative three then negative five so you take this this matrix then you tra transpose it you get negative six negative eighteen you get one negative six thirteen then one. You see, this is a adjoint matrix. So now we can find the numbers. We are about to finish. So inverse matrix is equal to one over determinant of a. So times z adjoint is equal to one over our determinant was the negative seven then it times a joint times negative one that is negative five negative six negative eighteen so one so negative six here you get to thirteen so one so we finish this is our our solution but you can put a, a negative inside you get one three five six eighteen one that negative get a six negative thirteen a negative one so we are done this is our solution this is an inverse so we can check this one to check whether we are right so checking check if a inverse is correct so take a inverse times a which will be equal to identity matrix so you can check this one by taking our inverse Yes. Then uh, you get uh, six, then negative thirteen, negative one. So times our original ma matrix. Okay. Zero, one, negative one, then six. A negative one and zero. So if we get the identity, identity is one zero one zero 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 one zero 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 one. So you can check, you can multiply them. So check whether we are right. So thank you for your kind attention. This is how you calculate or you find an inverse of a matrix of a three dimension. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe so that we have other videos on time. Goodbye.